Hello and welcome back to the Grey Cricketer, the final test of this, the final cash-in summer, the Australian summer. Australia win the toss. How many tosses in a row this season, Pez? Has Cummins won? 18. Five of the best. Five of the best in a row. Um, Australia find themselves two for 147, and that's the correct way to say it, even though we're the only country that says it in that way. It's the correct way to say it. Um, you know, I suppose it was a good day. Just another example of how shit South Africa are. Uh, so did you enjoy that? I did. I just think, and and once again, confirmation of Australia's ascendancy in world cricket as well. Complete uh, dominance. Some, some people will allege that, that, that we're watching structural decline. I disagree. Yeah. I just think we have some good sticks. Yeah. Uh, I think South Africa will be back. They're just having going through a bad run yes. at the moment. Yes. And, uh, a rejuvenation e- period. E- e- everything is in order. Uh, you know, it's Sydney. It's got a last day of school vibe to it. Yep. Uh, everyone's relaxed after New Year. Everyone's wearing their pale blue shirts. Yep. Uh, you've got a couple of guys lining up at 6am over yep. the age of 60, <laughs> running into the ground, doing what they call hilariously the Paddington Sprint. What they don't realise is that's actually a honey trap by the AFP <laughs> who are standing there hiding behind trees with cameras documenting who's yep. running through there yep. and putting them on a list as people suspected on child sex charges. That's right and they put them in this room that we're sitting in. People are wondering hey boys where are you sitting? We're backstage in our green room at the Comedy Store in Sydney for the, the penultimate show of the summer in the Australian leg. Uh, we've got Shane Watson joining us tonight so that'll be fun. Um, anyway so that's where we are. We're basically in a fire escape. Uh, fire escape come uh, yeah. Green room, different to the cum green room, uh, which is what the Hulk used to live in. Um, that's 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 a thinker that one. Um, Pez, uh, let's talk about the Australian team. <laughs> talk about the Australian team sheet, if you will, and I know that you will. Um, they went for Renshaw, they went for Agar, and they went for the Bush Horse, and they did not go for Scotty B, the Barrel. They didn't go for the Raw Dog. They didn't yeah. go for Scotty B. Yep. Uh, no bareback, no Scotty B. Interesting yeah. times ahead. Yeah, interesting times ahead. That was really all we could talk about ahead of this yeah. um, disgracefully yeah. boring excuse yeah. for a game of cricket. <laughs> what uh, 11 is going to smash these cunts? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, all in all, I think pretty decent selection. Uh, yeah. You go for five bowlers. If you, if you, if you oh, sort of push Kerry, if you, if you push Kerry up to six, mm. Agar seven, play five bowlers, why do that when South Africa makes 200 runs max anyway? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone's not getting a bowl. Uh, so give Renshaw a stick, give Agar a twirl. Yeah. Um, have a bit of fun with a couple of toys, <laughs> see what happens. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. And also, Renshaw has COVID. I don't know how many more warning signs this guy needs to give us. He shat himself on the field. Um, he's been diagnosed with COVID. He's been diagnosed with COVID. Um, it's just warning signs deluxe. Too many Queenslanders in this team for me. Um, but there's six New South Watchmen inside, so that's good, I suppose. Mm. Um, Renshaw uh, spending a bit of time away from the team today uh, just because he has he has been uh, he had tested positive with COVID, so you got to feel from there after a long time out. How many, how many years has it been in fact for Ferential out of the test side? Four, five? Yeah, 2017. 2017? So 2018. Oh, well, you know, 20, that's six years now because it's 2023. Yeah. So I suppose it was nice for him. I also like the idea in, cl- in Clubland, Pez. Um, yeah, Clubland. Which is next to Sleep City. Uh, sexy land. That, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's on the way to the airport yeah. I think I don't know yeah. um, I listen to SEN is, uh, is you know, like if Kerry Kerry scored 100 last week that means he has about a high position this week that, that's, how, that's how club that's how club teams work yeah that's right you yeah. go up one spot you go up one order. spot when the order yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway so a couple of guys in the tail deliver when the rest of the team collapses blokes at number 10 11 they're going up the order next week Mate, and how they sh- won't how shit has this series been we're spending basically 8 minutes talking about the squad and which 11 was going to was, was going to smash South Africa like they, they tease us a bit with a bit of bareback a bit of bareback Morris a bit of Elmo yeah. Lance Morris yeah. if you Mad well, dog, a bit of mad the dog. The uh, bloodhound. Yeah, anything but wild thing. Anything yeah. wild. Anything but wild thing. Two point Get that in the fucking bin. That mm. is so lame. Um, it would have been an absolute some disgrace dog. if mm. he'd been selected Over. ahead of, ahead of <laughs> like the, like the, the best bowler in the world in the last year, Scott Boland, who misses out on the side, and the fucking bush horse Hazelwood. Yeah, yeah. How's yeah. there? How was there anywhere near us? Like. Let's face it, Lance Morris has been included for fucking net footage for pedophiles to watch. (laughs) (laughs) Finally, someone said it. Let's, guys, let's face it. Stop beating around the bush here. Come on. He's a marketing selection. It's a marketing selection. To appeal to the child sex offenders (laughs) who like watching the nets. I don't like what's it. What's their net- preoccupation what's, with What's the deal with the net footage I'm getting in fucking yeah. like eight days a week now before a test match? Just like, and it's not even good fetish. Oh, here's Steve Smith getting some, um, getting a little wanger <laughs> stuff. It's not even a good fetish. It's not even a good fetish. It's not even a good fetish. And I will be ranking my fetishes in next in the next video. Like, it's not even good footage. It's not even good footage because like, there's, li- there's literal net in between. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's right. 
Yeah. Like, like, it's so, a steward. Like, here's Steve Smith facing the, some off spin with a wanger right. somehow. Like, it's what, obstructed I, viewing. Fucking hell. You pay less for that. You actually pay less money. And I'm not paying any money for it, although, you know, yeah, Twitter well, blue and whatnot. Only fans. Um, that's right. Uh, anyway, I suppose the day. If Lance play, was to do that naked, I'd watch it on OnlyFans. Would it would have would it have got you up at all today if Australia lost the toss? I mean, I just can't yeah. see. I just can't. There's such a mate, disparity mate, I'll, between. I tell you what, uh, something. This is Cummins' fault. All fucking platinum balls. Yeah. Nothing goes wrong for him. Yeah, yeah for all that's platinum true. balls. Any danger yeah. of something going wrong for him? Now I feel like there's a couple of troubles ahead uh, with some games Australia's got <laughs> in different places. I haven't places. seen the fixtures. I haven't yeah. seen the fixtures yet, but I think just I feel like I there's a there's trouble here. ahead yeah. for Australia. I just have a feeling. <laughs> And the media will fucking go ballistic that they're not getting the same results that they got yeah. at home on different wickets. Yeah. But for now, they're playing on a side wicket, village ass, docile piece of shit. Yeah, it's on they're a side too, wicket. They're, they're on a fucking side wicket at the mm. SCG. Mm. Yeah. And uh, is that, are they the fucking sniffer dogs coming in? So, <laughs> well, and, yeah. and, and, I'm, and, I'm, and I'm kitting around the members, and some fucking dark blue clad policemen are walking through with a fucking sniffer dog in the members. I thought Mark Baird wasn't one. premier anymore. <laughs> oh, I guess he's a he's a chair of CA. Welcome on the show, MB. <laughs> Um, I just think it's, 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 it's somehow endemic of what has been a, a pretty drab summer. Uh, you know, in terms of contests, Australia win the toss, they're bad. It's 2 for 147. Marnus gets 79. I'm not saying she had okay. Usman, nice, 54, but it wasn't quick enough for my liking. There was a point yep. in the time where Simon Harper, uh, Harmer, who the no, fuck is that? Okay. Just, just Daryl's son, Daryl Harper. Just, just, yeah, exactly. Just a bloke who had a fucking passport down at Bondi. Do you want a game? Go on then. You have mm. a roll. Um, yeah, he, he tried to claim a catch. Fucking cheat. I thought it was out personally, <laughs> but you're a fucking cheat. <laughs> that was good. There's a lot of furrowed, bra- thought it was a lot of furrowed brows in the press box. I turn around there, he goes in his scope. He goes, just goes. And then as soon, and then as, soon as it was given, not out fucking cheat. Yeah, cheat. You shouldn't don't claim that, you fucking cheat. cheat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, it's, you're watching yeah. this, he's not a cheat. I think, I think it was out. I and think it was you out. You know, I, I, um, afterwards, in the toilets, um, while I was doing a whiz, yeah. I also had my phone out again. and I saw... Uh, um, he'll appreciate hearing this, but um, James Brayshaw's call of it was very good. James Brayshaw's like, that's out for mine. Yeah, it okay. is out. His, fing- his fingers are under it. And it's very much an if you played the game yeah, scenario. Yeah, now, yeah. If you've played How the game. How many fucking third grade games out. have you so played? Announce that you haven't played cricket yeah. by saying yeah. that's not out because I yeah. can see some of the ball hitting the grass. The ball hits the grass and not out. His fingers are under it. His fingers are under it. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I've played. 15 years ago. A couple of games. Um, uh, anyway, so just, I'm just, uh, you know, it's, it's it's a tough thing to get up for. And like this week in Sydney, it just rains every year. The first week in January just seems to rain every year. Now, they've, they've played about 50-something overs today. I think maybe a little bit less than. I can't remember the exact number because mm. I'm not a nonce. Mm. Um, nice day for ducks. Nice day for ducks. Um, but like, but yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's I'm, I'm struggling for things to for things to get up for here. And, and I just want to, I just want, I just want Australia to bowl. That's actually what I want. I want Australia to bowl because I've seen enough and I want to laugh again. And I want to laugh at how bad South African cricket is going, which is actually just killing the sport that we both love, yep. um, Pezza. But, yep. you know, it's something it's i want like to feel something no people are going back to work this week you know it's wednesday it's the yeah. first week back people are going yeah. back on wednesdays your yes. thursdays your friday your yeah. mondays yeah. next week your of course mondays. which will be coming around the corner following a saturday and sunday double Indeed. um but i'm just i uh, you know I, i'm reaching here mate you know I, I, I think i just want to see this bowl because i want to laugh you know that's yeah. that's all i want i want i want to, I want I want to sort of i want to i want to side mouth like Pfft this shit yeah. you know I want to say fucks this shit and I think that's coming I think that I think that time will come I would have had a look at a declaration tonight just give him sort of 20 minutes because hey, you know, let's have a roll because you know peasant no batsman likes about for 20 minutes because they can't really do they can't really achieve anything you know it's actually a nightmare time do you want to do a hashtag I said you say? I do, but j- just quickly, do, do, you, do you want a quick word on Zampa last night? Zampa and the non-striker run-out, the <laughs> non-striker run-out? Because I've got a view yeah. on it. Because uh, until, yeah. until this point, I've been um, essentially in the same view as uh, like Ricky Ponting, which is like all well and good to say that it's in the laws, etc. I, I, I think don't um, demonise people who do it. Okay. But if you've got a problem with it, you've got a problem with the law. I, I don't think it's a very good law personally, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. but the law is what it is now. Yeah. Until now, I have been on the side of the Anglo. Um, but now that <laughs> now that now that one of my friends has done it, yeah. uh, I actually think it's a fun, fantastic thing. Um, I, I think, I think it, he once, sort of sees the game differently. Once he? one yeah. of our blokes do it, yeah. it's a very good thing to do. He's yeah. a competitive guy. Mm. It's it's the laws of the game. He's allowed to do it, and yeah. uh, and those who are against it just need to read the laws. Oh, that's right, man. And when Stark sort of did it, Stark did it in the right manner. You know, he so did he right gave manner. a couple of warnings. Now, yeah. when Ashman does it, not for me that stuff. Yeah. And I can't really decide why I choose certain um, instances over others, but that's yeah. just me, it's and just that's my prerogative. It's just a feeling I get. I can't put words to it. It's more. Yeah. It's like what a George W. Bush said. I, I've. I feel it in my gut. It's in the gut. Yeah. It's in the gut, and yeah. I don't know where that comes from. 
though I think it might be some background, a little bit of fear mongering, um, some some African gang stuff in Melbourne, you know that kind of gear. <laughs> um, <laughs> How did we get here? I like yeah, like <laughs> nothing has happened. I liked about today. Mitch Stark's doing. So Mitch Stark was like, yeah. look, there are the laws of the game. I yeah. could employ them if I want. But I'm actually going to govern the game above that that's by right. telling you what to do that's above right. the laws. Yeah. That's right. Uh, and but now when Zampo's doing what he was doing, that's yeah. right because that's one of our blokes doing it. And yeah. I just think he's a competitive guy. And it was good when the coach said like, no, I was doing this, and, and then he said I was doing the other thing. So yeah. like, you know, they've like, got all bases covered. All bases covered. Yeah. So I'm fine with that. I thought yeah. that was good. Yeah. I thought that was good. Hashtag right. Hashtag RCGC. RCGC. Why do they schedule test matches in Sydney's rainy season? <laughs> <laughs> That was from Mickey V. Mickey V, thank you. Looking forward to using that on stage tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Harry Vogler, uh, Vogler uh, boys, first time Sydney circuit. What's good for rain affected circuits? Oh, uh, doesn't oh, matter. Yeah, not Indoors much. And tap beer. Yeah. Uh, Get yourself down to Old Harbour. Have, have, look, have a look at a view. You'll Stacey, have a look at a view. Stacey writes in Do you think in 2023 we could simply turn on the lights at our world class stadiums? <laughs> yeah. I tell you what, the bathroom's next to that new stadium. <laughs> unbelievable. And the Oyster Stadium, the members, would have been unbelievable. Think Great day for oysters. Think about common sense. I don't do common. Um, Captain yeah. Obvious writes in, <laughs> the impotence of Marcus Harris's cordial making locked in as 12th man for the length of the new broadcast deal. <laughs> now, I think he meant to say the importance. Because <laughs> if his cordial it's making impotent. was impotent, I it's don't think water. they continue selecting it. Yeah, you know? That's right. Yeah. Once again, I've got a story about impotence yeah. um, for another time. Yeah, okay. Uh, Matt Cleary writes in, Jono Matt Cleary. Uh, g'day, Matt. Uh, Catch, no catch. Pistol said catch. Third ump can overrule to batter advantage if doubt. No, it was quite simple, Matt. Um, yeah. We're in Australia. Uh, yeah. Yes, the, 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 the soft signal from the Australian umpire was that that's out. Yeah. And so the umpire's job was to simply um, look yeah. to see if there was enough evidence to overturn it. Now, I yeah. looked at it and I thought, hmm, looks pretty... Yeah, no, uh, but, but did you really good. look what you wanted well, to what say? I, then what I wanted to see was... Um, Manus just talking to the umpire at the time while that conversation yeah, that's was right. going on. Yeah. So that's a good look. Uh, and then I thought, well, no, he's Australian. So, and he just didn't, and the crowd was sort of making some noises, sort of two or three beers. Went up, so they, they played the replay on the big screen and then the crowd went up, even though yeah. the footage sort of showed that he caught the ball. So that, yeah. was, that was also mixed messaging. I yeah. like that kind of a little bit of xenophobia say, in the air. I wanted him to be out because I think that, not that you can accuse him of this because it didn't happen, yeah. but I think there was some impending petulance ready. And then we would have had something. We had something to talk something. about. Instead, we've got Instead, nothing. we got nothing. Hey, thanks as always for joining TGC. We're about to jump on stage here for our second last show. And Any our, of that material work on stage, let us know in the comments. <laughs> we'll have done it anyway. We will see you guys tomorrow. And we'll probably be back in this exact room, but we'll see you tomorrow. Cheers.